and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is about a question I get asked once in a while. The question is, can you draw with a water-soluble pencil, like an artist pencil? Draw it on top of a dried acrylic paint? It's a good question. The answer is yes. <laughs> I do anyway. Let me show you how that works. The artist pencils, the water soluble, beautiful stuff, right? Wonderful. A little hard to put a dry pencil on top of your smooth, dried acrylic painting. So what I like to use, quite frankly, are the Faber-Castell Pit artist pens. They come in three different nib sizes. Also Sharpies, but make sure it says paint. Oil-based. Look for that. It's got to be oil-based because oil-based pens go on top of the acrylics. Water-based pens do not adhere very well to the acrylic finish. So, I love to draw with these Sharpies, black or white. The white happens to be beautiful, opaque white, by the way. And these are archival quality Faber-Castell Pitt Artist pens. I draw, sketch, I do everything with these pens. For instance, there's a drawing that's dried and a pencil, this little bit of color in here too. But I love to come back into this. It will adhere beautifully because it's all based to adhere to art materials. Very nice stuff. I love to draw too. But <laughs> there's another one. The Artist Sharpie Paint Pen. It's a felt tip type pen and it's oil based. I like to use these more than any because it is oil based and oil based will go over all of these finishes. So when in doubt, read the label, make sure it's oil based. And then I can continue on painting on top of this because I do, even though the books say, don't do it. Well. When somebody says, don't do it, aren't you gonna do it? Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> I know you are. I know my artist. Anyway, so it's a great uh, tool to have, especially oil-based, all right? They come in silver. Look at all these wonderful colors. They come in silver, white, black. So don't use the Sharpie. That's the one we all buy at the hardware store. It, is, it says permanent. It is not permanent. All right, so get the oil-based. It will say so right there on the front of the label, oil-based, and uh, you're in good shape. So now let me show you about working on a canvas, doing the same thing on canvas, which I love to do. Let's watch. So this is a canvas. I've done my painting, acrylic paint, and it also has an acrylic varnish on top of it. So can these pens work? You bet they can, especially varnish because it's a smoother finish. Look at this, beautiful. This is the oil-based pen I'm using, the Sharpie. Remember it says paint on it. It's just beautiful, rich, thin. Look at, I can do all these great lines. I love to draw. What a great thing to do first thing in the morning. Just get in there to loosen up. Start with some drawing pencils. Don't worry about your drawing skills. This is how you get better. <laughs> I'm just dancing and warming up here first thing in the morning. Better than facing that 10 foot canvas, right? <laughs> it's small, it's achievable. You can get it done sitting down. <laughs> it's a quiet way of starting the day. Anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful artist pen. It's a Sharpie, it has different point sizes. But the pen that I like to use the most is the Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen. I use it because it says artist, all right? I'm halfway there. <laughs> and it comes in different uh, thicknesses. It's a felt tip, it's beautiful, it's oil-based, it works. So the answer is always yes. When in doubt, just try it. Don't ask anybody, just try it. Aren't you there to look into the future of things? You're the artist. 
the creative artist. Hey, I hope this helps you. So try anything. It will work. All right. I'll see you on the next Pop Blast.